Today's question is, what is bullseye and do you need to use it? Stay tuned to find out. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining in. This is your first time here. I am JJ aka Toko and I create gaming and car cleaning videos on YouTube. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting that red subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time that I upload or go live. All links to my social media is down in the description below. Thanks again for watching and enjoy the video. First of all, what is Bullseye? Bullseye is a waypoint, code name Bullseye, that is a predetermined point on the map that is used as a reference point for all aircraft. You will commonly hear AWAC, which you can see flying down the bottom there, will give you a picture from Bullseye to enemy aircraft. It is always from Bullseye. Now before we go too far, I'm going to show you how to input the information from Bullseye into the F-18 Hornet, and then I'm going to show you how to use it. If you hover your mouse over the Bullseye itself, you see up the top left hand side of the corner, you'll have the coordinates for that waypoint. Write those down so we can put those into the aircraft. All right, once we're back in the aircraft, I like using the left screen here because it's easier to read in VR. We're going to navigate over to the HSI and then the top button up here, which is data. We're going to click on that. If you don't have the waypoints already in the system and you need to add the waypoint, you're going to do this. Click on the UFC button top left and then in position. So using those coordinates that we wrote down before it is going to be north 36, 33, 1, 4 and enter. Then we're going to put in west 1145729. Enter. We've now placed the waypoints into the system as waypoint zero. Normally you'd use a different waypoint, but waypoint zero for this example is fine. How do we make this F 18 C that is the reference point? Simple. Click this button here, which is the air to air waypoint. Now the aircraft is seeing that waypoint zero is the reference points commonly referred to as bullseye. I'm now going to show you how to use it. We click the air to air master mode button on the left hand side. The aircraft automatically goes into air to air mode and brings up the radar on the right hand side. Now there's a whole bunch of numbers and stuff that is going on on this screen. Down the bottom here is what I want you to look at. 189 degrees for 15.9 nautical miles. We go to the map and we draw a line from Bullseye to us, you'll notice that it is a heading of 189 for 15.9 nautical miles. Correlates to this. That is our location from Bullseye. You'll also notice that in the radar here, you can see where the Bullseye reference is, because that is the air to air waypoint. How do we use this to our advantage now? What we're going to do now is we're going to contact AWACS. We're going to ask for a picture, and it's going to tell us those two groups of F-16s out there. We're going to use that information. Right, now that AWACS has given us the two picture groups, we can use the captain's bars on our radar. And now you can see up the top left hand side of the screen, you can see that it's a 296 for 44.5. So that is the first target that it's given us. And then the second target is 042 for 58 nautical miles. And this shows you the two picture groups that AWACS has just given us. So just to recap that bit, down the bottom, that is our reference point from Bullseye. Up the top, is where the captain's bars are currently looking from bullseye. Do not get confused between your bra and your bull's reference. It's up the top, that is your bull's reference. Down the bottom is your bra reference. Bra is your bearing range and altitude to that target. Bearing range and altitude is referenced from you to the target. Bull's is from the bull's waypoint to the target. Don't get those two confused. From here the job's simple, head towards the uh, location that AWACS has given you, reference from your bulls, which you now have, and you go and shoot the enemy aircraft down. Well 
Well, I hope that short tutorial has helped you on how to get Bullseye into the aircraft, how to use it and uh, navigate yourself around the bad guys. But thank you so much for joining in. Uh, again, all the links to my social medias are down in the description below. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and the little bell icon so you know whenever I go live. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.